Hi guys, this is Vol, and I am very proud to announce to you that uh, I am now ready to unveil the new uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles army that I've been working on. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Warhammer Fantasy is a game that is played on tabletop. It's uh, similar to Warhammer 40,000, but it's uh, for fantasy with swords and knights and magic. And uh, many of you have been following my Tomb Kings battle reports. Thank you for watching those. Um, I still have the Tomb Kings army and still uh, will be playing games with them, but I have uh, been working on a new army for the High Elves, and you can see it here uh, pictured in its glory. Now, it's important to note that there is a tournament coming up this weekend. I have been uh, practicing for it for a while, and I, uh, at the last minute, just before the uh, army lists uh, were meant to be in, I changed my mind about going in with Tomb Kings and decided to to use my half-finished um, High Elf army instead. So that has prompted me to spend pretty much uh, all of my spare time painting these guys, uh, and it has been an incredible effort. They're not actually finished. The photos that I'll be showing you today are... Um, only a uh, sort of a snapshot of where I'm at with them so far. Not too far off from finishing. Many of the models are completed, but some of them are unfinished, uh, lacking a bit of highlighting here and there. But I'm going to talk you through it, and you guys can sort of ooh and ah over all of the stuff here. I'll make a few points about the army list that I'll actually be taking to the tournament coming up this weekend. Of course, there will be battle reports, so don't ask me about that. Um, obviously, I'm going to post battle reports later on. Um, if you have things to say about my army list, just keep your mouth shut. I don't really care about what you think about my army list because I've already submitted it. I've already, I've already chosen it. I've already bought the models. Just, you know, go post somewhere else if you, if you want to post about army lists. Um, however, I will be explaining what I will be taking uh, just so that you guys will actually know and will understand a bit better when I talk about my army during the battle reports. So, uh, this first photo that you've been looking at for a while now while I've been talking, uh, from right to left, my BSB, my Battle Standard Bearer on the horse, a little bit obscured in this photo, but you can see everything else very well, fairly well. My uh, completed unit of Dragon Princes in the foreground, very nice guys, the other unit I've, I've finished, a unit of f 15 white lines in the center there next to them. Uh, in the middle you can see my three uh, characters on foot, there are three mages, although I'm not actually going to be taking three mages, one of those mages has a sword and I'll be using her to represent a, a fighting a combat character on foot. Uh, there are two repeater bolt thrusts in the center there, one is finished, one of them is nearly finished. Uh, the two strange looking models at the back are angels, I will be using them to represent eagles, high elf eagles, the rare choices, uh, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about those models later. Uh, a second unit of Dragon Princes in the background, double Dragon Prince list, not finished painting those guys at the back there, but nearly done. Uh, two units of 10 archers, so the minimum core requirement for the High Elf army, and on the far left, two Tyrannoch chariots uh, drawn by elven steeds rather than lions. Let's go to the next photo where you can see the uh, parts of the army in a little bit sharper detail. Really happy with the way these guys are turning out. As you can see, I've chosen a purple and uh, yellow color scheme. Uh, I really like to go for unconventional color schemes. Uh, I want to give the army a look that it's uh, it's very unique. Uh, other other high elf players wouldn't paint their army like this. Uh, you definitely wouldn't see this in Games Workshop uh, magazines and army books. Uh, it, it's a very magical th city sort of theme and feel to it. All of the bases are produced by a company called Iron Halo. I'm entering their painting competition this month. Uh, Iron Halo, just search for them on Google if you want to buy some of the bases. The bases that I've used are from a range they do called The Keep. And uh, it's basically meant to represent a, a sort of a marble uh, city, like a ruined city. Well, not so much a ruined city, but an ancient high elf city uh, that these guys hang out in. And uh, the, the magical elves that uh, basically come from that part of, the, of town. And when they're on tabletop, it kind of, kind of looks like they're sort of marching down the street or, th or through the city or whatever. But uh, that's the scheme, and I hope you guys like it. You'll be looking at it quite a lot if you plan on watching my High Elf Battle reports. Um, I'm yet to play any really good players with this army, but um, so far I've had seven games, and uh, this army has won every single one of them. I am sorry I haven't been posting battle reports of the games so far, especially my first game and so forth with the High Elves. But uh, to be honest, the army wasn't finished at that point in time, and I've been proxying a lot of stuff during that period of time. Uh, some of the games have been interesting, some of them have not. Uh, but just in practice, these high elves are really carving up. I, uh, this is a list that I've, I've sort of put together and, and collected after sort of learning how to play the game in 7th edition, whereas the Tomb Kings, it was a sort of a bit hit and miss because I was just using the models that I had that I'd bought without really understanding uh, the Tomb Kings army book. With high elves, it's much more precision perfect. I'm using an army that I really understand and know how to get the most out of. So uh, that's doing really well. I've got a lot of tough matchups coming up in the tournament, so that's going to be very difficult for me to win. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to do my best, and I'll tell you guys how it goes. I don't expect to win all six of my games over that weekend, but um, I'm definitely going to give it my best shot. 
Next picture. Um, have a look at these miniatures here. Now you'll notice uh, straight away, those of you who are familiar with Games Workshop models, that uh, these three miniatures are not produced by Games Workshop. Um, maybe I'll keep it a secret as to where these actually come from, but um, some of you may have read a fantasy book series called George. R I'm sorry, um, Song of Ice and Fire by an author called George R. R. Martin, and um, those books, uh, books that I've read, and uh, there's a miniature range which which produces models which are meant to represent some of the characters from that book. For example, um, I'm not sure how you, know, you pronounce her name. I think it's Cersei or uh, Cersei or, or something like that. The the woman in the center, that the model there, actually represents that character from that book. So those of you who have read it. Um, that is what that uh, character model is meant to be. But in my High Elf army, that's going to be my Archmage, uh, the one in the middle with the white dress. Um, the, the dress sort of looks a little bit greenish, but that's because the uh, the light is reflecting off my green painted gaming table and is um, is bouncing back to the camera. So the Aloha dress is painted white and might look slightly green tinged because of that. The one on the left uh, represents just a, like a handmaiden type girl, but she's a level two mage. I'm giving her the Seer Staff and a Power Stone. Uh, the Archmage is going to be taking Silver Wand for an extra uh, spell, so it makes it more likely for her to get the spells that she needs. And she'll have Dispel Scroll, uh, Power Stone, stuff like that. Uh, and the, the Mage on the right-hand side, although obviously it looks like an actual uh, spellcasting character, I'm using her to represent a normal High Elf Noble carrying the White Sword, which is meant to be a two-handed weapon, but again, stretch your imagination. I don't have a model available, so I'm just using that once it's already painted. And uh, that character will have a combination of the White Sword and the Talisman of Loek. So those of you with a copy of the High Elf book might like to check out what uh, that combination grants you. I assure you it's uh, quite a handy one. Let's go to the next picture. Uh, these, oh, this is such a prized unit. Uh, 